All right, I'm here with a brand new pickup video going over some pretty nice finds I've got lately. Um, some kind of late year garage sale finds, which are always a pleasant surprise. Usually nothing happens this late into the year, um, but always happy when it does and a pretty solid lot there, uh, as well as some cool new releases and a few other uh, game store finds and miscellaneous other thrift store finds. I'll go into some new releases first. Uh, picked up... Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider when it came out on PS4. Uh, I really liked the Xbox one, or I liked the original PS3 one. I liked the the one on Xbox, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and it came out on everything else later. Uh, I really liked those two, uh, especially this, the second one. Uh, this one, I played a little bit of it so far. It's really pretty solid. Uh, it feels a little bit slower paced, a little bit more survival based, um, uh, but it really good. Uh, Idos Montreal, pretty pretty. Reliable studio. Uh, I know it switched from Crystal Dynamics to Eidos Montreal because Crystal Dynamics is working on the Avengers game. Uh, but I can't really tell. I mean, it's, it's still pretty quality around the board. Uh, looking forward to playing some more of that. I uh, just got back from picking these ones up. So don't have anything to say about them yet. But well, I have one to say about one. Uh, first, I picked up uh, Valkyrie Chronicles 4. Um, really like Valkyrie Chronicles 1 on PS3. Played that game. Uh, really, really enjoyed that game. Uh, looking forward to it coming out on Switch again. Uh, releasing it on Switch, I think, beginning of next month. Um, so, yeah, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Looking forward to jumping into that. But while I was there, I also saw this, and I decided kind of an impulse buy to pick this up. Um, uh, Undertale uh, physical Switch release. I didn't know they did a Undertale physical Switch release. It's put out by Fangamer. And um, I looked it up. This is actually, uh, you know, a... Uh, Best Buy exclusive when it comes to actual retail. Uh, you can get it on Fangamer's website, but it's, you can get it only at Best Buy when it comes to retail, so that's kind of weird. But I uh, picked that up. You know, it's like 24 bucks after Gamers Club. I really liked Undertale when I played it on the... I played it on the Vita a couple of years ago. I, I, everyone's heard of this game at this point. Uh, it really blew up when it came out. But, um, yeah, I really liked it. It's a pretty fun RPG. It has a cool battle system that's kind of like WarioWare a little bit. Wish crack there, like WarioWare a little bit, and it's uh, kind of like an Earthbound, like pretty funny, uh, all around pretty enjoyable game. So I thought I'd give it a grab it, have a physical copy of it so that I could have. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, some other finds I got here. This is kind of a weird Goodwill find uh, at a Goodwill that I that I'll find something at like, every once in a while. Like I found a copy of uh, last big thing I remember getting here was like a copy of Marvel vs. Capcom. I got the Kl my Klonoa at this Goodwill. Uh, which was another good one. I'll find something out every once in a while just kind of randomly at this Goodwill. And I found this there. Uh, this is only a dollar. Uh, kind of weird. The Ease uh, 1 and 2 Chronicles CD. Kind of out of nowhere. Uh, doesn't have like the back artwork or anything. Or, But you see my Game Chaser shirt there. I threw that on. Uh, <laughs> you can see the reflection there. Uh, and then some random game store stuff. Uh, got some, this was at a game store a little bit south, about an hour and a half south, uh, Dreamcast game I did not have, uh, Cyber Troopers Virtual on Oratorio Tangram. Uh, I did not have this one, don't see it very, very often, I've never seen it at a store before or at a convention, I don't think, uh, and this was at 25, which is a bit under retail, so I decided... Probably worth picking up. Probably a good idea. And then I also grabbed some Nintendo Powers from the Exchange. Um, they've had these Nintendo Powers for a while, uh, but some of them were too pricey. But I kind of, so I never really looked through the whole stack. But I was there, had some time. I figured I would, because uh, some of them they had were only $3. They had some older ones that were like 5 and even $8, which more than I like to pay. The high end I'll pay is maybe maybe 5 if it's really old, but the high end I like to pay is maybe 3 uh, so I picked up eight Nintendo Powers here um, because I'm getting close to completing the set. I have like 80 that I'm missing, and I have pretty much all of them from like uh, late Super Nintendo era to like early Wii era. So I've got a good amount of them. I'm just missing a lot of Wii era, a lot of Wii U era, because there was only, or I guess more 3DS era. There's only maybe two that came out in the Wii era because it was pretty late. Um, I think they stopped doing it December 2012. Or maybe early January. And the Wii U came out November 2012. So, But yeah. Um, so I just got a few. Uh, let's flip through them real quick. 
Uh, these are all later release ones because I can't ever find those ones. So, uh, all in good shape. Three bucks each, uh, which is not a little higher than I like to pay, but I don't know, I'm kind of looking kind of at the end of uh, completing this set. This is a cool cover. I like that one. Um, yeah, looking kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel of completing this set. Um, and I you don't find out a whole heck of a lot. Every once in a while, I will. But other than that, I, I'll stop into an exchange and they'll have some. Or I'll, when I go to Stone Age, I'll usually flip through them. But it's kind of harder to find ones I don't have. So uh, bulk of this video is then going to be a pretty nice uh, little GameCube bundle I, I got at a garage sale. I didn't actually find this myself, though. I got to give uh, credit where credit is due. I had my dad looking out at garage sales. Um... Had him stop at a few uh, this morning, I guess. Um, had him stop at these. And uh, kind of a funny story with everything. Uh, he, t he, I get the the text. I was in class at the time. Um, so I couldn't make it. I get the text. I look at my phone during class. Um, sorry, Dad. I was checking the, cl the clock. I know you watch these videos. Uh, <laughs> but I, I check my, my phone. And... Um, there is a message on there that just says, I've, rede rede I've redeemed myself. And I'm like, what? Are you, uh, what? Okay. Um, so uh, it, it dates back to this funny story of when I was a kid and I got my GameCube. And um, for some ex inexplicable reason, my dad just threw away the box, which is not something he usually does. He's usually pretty medic meticulous and he keeps the boxes for everything. So this was kind of out of character, but he threw away my GameCube box. Uh, I had the Platinum GameCube box. Um, so, I, to this day, I still don't have a Platinum GameCube box. I now have the Spice Orange GameCube box that I got for my trip to Japan. And I have this now. It's a black GameCube. I'll, I'll spoil it. Uh, so he said, I've redeemed myself. He got me a GameCube box. So, <laughs> thanks, Dad. Um, so, yeah, shout out to him for getting that stuff. This is a really good lot. Uh, the story goes that he was at this sale and uh, looking through CDs. And I asked the woman if he had any game stuff, if she had any game stuff, and she said, yeah, um, they didn't bring it out, though. So she came in, brought it out, and it is a really, really, really good GameCube bundle. Uh, Kim comes with the system, and everything was in here, all the cords and everything. Uh, one shame is, not kind of another ironic, funny story, one shame about this is that... Uh, I don't... I have a copy of Super Smash Bros. Melee. I've been game hunting now for years. I've been doing it forever. I've been doing these videos for four years. I found one copy of Melee and it's missing the manual and it's player's choice. Uh, and I'm, you know, I have some player's choice, but I try not to have them. Um, so it just, that just bothers me. I said, hey, don't ever find this game. And I get this kind of variant box that says Super Smash Brothers Melee included. Um, which this is just a sticker, but I've never seen this. It's Target. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to keep the sticker on. That's pretty cool. Um, I, always, I miss how they used to do this, where they'd put a bunch of different games on the back, kind of. They don't do that anymore. They should start doing that again. You kind of just put a bunch of different games on the back. Um, Eternal Darkness, Resident Evil Remake, uh, Star Fox Adventures. Can't all be winners on the back, I guess. Luigi's Mansion, Melee, Wave Race, NBA. A lot of, I, I kind of miss when they used to do that. I don't know, it was cool. So yeah, he did redeem himself by getting me a box GameCube again. Uh, I had the receipt with it, too. Um... We got this in January 14th of 2007, so after the week came out. Uh, got it at GameStop. Is that GameStop? That's, that, that's the GameStop that's still around. Um, I guess I just doxed that GameStop. Oh, well. Um, yeah, you can see GameCube system for 60 bucks. Somehow they kept that box and everything. I don't know. Memory card for 15 and uh, Zelda for 50 So I spoiled one of the games, but... Uh, We'll go through the games here. Really, really nice stack. A lot of stuff I didn't have that I'm excited to add um, to the collection. These are all complete except one of them. Uh, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, which I do have. So um, that'll just be trade, whatever. Uh, this one's the only one that's not complete. It's in one of those stupid GameStop cases. Uh, Midway Arcade Treasures 2. This one's exciting for me at least. Because my, my copy of this is Player's Choice. I don't find this one very often. Uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We'll be swapping that artwork out. Uh, Crash Knight Trocart. 
Twilight Princess. It's a Zelda game he bought for 50 bucks. Um, Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Mario Party 5. Bloody Roar Primal Fury, which I didn't know they had Bloody Roar on the um, the GameCube. It's probably not the Hudson. Oh, yeah, it's still developed by Hudson. Published by Activision. That's weird. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, Soul Calibur 2, which I also didn't have. Kind of a bummer. It's player's choice, um, but oh, well. Always cool to have, especially the GameCube version. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. That's, um, Simpsons Hit and Run. Monkey Ball 2. And the one I was most excited to see in here, because I've been looking for this game forever. Uh, I can never find it anywhere. No one ever seems to have it. Never find it at a garage sale or anything. Um, it's Killer7, which I've been wanting this game forever. I wanted to play this game. Um, so I'm glad to finally get it complete and everything. <clears throat> I never see this at stores. I never see it at conventions. I don't know why. It's not... To my knowledge, it's not a very common, uncommon game. Probably not very common either, but... I don't know. Still exciting to get. Looking forward to popping that one in. Um, but yeah, pretty cool lot all around. Uh, he asked what um, the woman wanted for all this stuff, and she said, I don't know, 25 bucks? So, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, uh, you, you pay $25 for a lot that good. So, uh, great, great bundle there. He actually didn't know he was going to get the box with it, and then the woman's like, oh, wait a second, let me, I think I have the box. Let me go in and run in and get the box real quick. So, I mean, it just keeps getting better. Uh, so that's a great lot. Probably top five of the year for me, I'd think. Uh, really just a stellar lot there. Pretty happy with that one. Uh, and that is the end of this one. Uh, just a kind of a shorter video, but got some good stuff in there. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment if you um, picked up anything this week or if you have any suggestions for any of the games that I got there. Um, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, follow me on Twitter on Obdo, at Obdo Gaming on Instagram, Twitter, wherever. Um, and I will see you next time.